Hey, XR here, uh, playing Tropico 5 again. Um, last time we started off on this randomly generated island, and uh, we were just getting things started, and as I ended the episode, we were about to get a new heir. So we need to add a new member to our dynasty, and there are three various ways we can do it, or you can uh, say no, but at this point, our dynasty just has the one guy in it, so we might as well get somebody else. Um, these three different... This, these are always the same, I found, for the first new Dynasty member, and I believe that choosing different things gives you different results in having different choices of uh, special ability, but I really don't know what goes to what yet. Um, so I'm just going to pick As Singing Competition. Born, all animals became quiet. A light shone through the skies, and La Chupacabra herself went to the crib and bowed to the infant. At least... That is what we will write in the history books. So we've got uh, altruist, which is bonus starting money, uh, environmentalist, or supervisor. I think supervisor is the good one. And here we get to just change what he looks like again. Uh, we'll give him if he's the supervisor. Duh. Somehow that doesn't look too ridiculous. Hair. Not too ridiculous. There we go. For the period, it works. And that'll work. Centos. Exarado. There's our president, and this is our new dynasty member. So, now he's around, and what we can actually do is, um, this game has a system of, of managers. And you can use, you can hire regular people, but you can also use your dynasty members. So, if we want to improve the uh, work of our construction guys. We can go in here and manager none. We can click on that. Here's our supervisor. These are the other guys we can uh, hire and what their um, effect would be. They would both increase beauty in the vicinity, which doesn't really do matter to us at this point. But we'll uh, hire our supervisor and he will increase the building effectiveness by five. So we'll get him, we'll hire him, and now he's supervising this building and increasing its effectiveness. Still don't have any college educated workers for our library, but hopefully that will correct itself pretty soon. Our slowly our approval rating is going up. Our mandate is down below three years, so we're gonna want to get that up soon. When we finish exporting these bananas, we should get another chance to uh, to raise it up. Our tobacco farm is now working, so we should be starting to earn some cash from that. As I speak, we are exporting some stuff, bananas, some of them. Um, so let's go and build some more houses because we really want to continue to reduce our homelessness problem. I'll build some more country houses here. And we'll really pack them in there. That's all we can afford right now. I'll speed up time a little bit. Ah, good. Our library is working now. Slow down again just to deal with this. We'll see what this quest is. Have a grocery. Okay, I'll deal with that in a sec. Uh, so we have the library now, so we can research. This exclamation point means I can research, but I have nothing selected. So we'll go in here, and these are our researches. Uh, basically, the way it works is you have to have at least two in each tier before the next tier unlocks. Right now, we've got a lot of farms. So we'll research. Uh, you can queue stuff up. So first, we'll do farm upgrades, then we'll do ranch upgrades. And we don't have anything to mine right now, so there's not really much point in us researching mines. I'm going to speed up time again. We're actually in debt right now, so I need to wait for another ship to come to buy some more of our goods. <clears throat> Before we can think about building a grocery. Ah, oh, good. The crown sent us some money. That'll do. So, uh, groceries are under welfare and media, and what they actually do is they provide foods to the people living around them. And, you know, the, the people can get their own food from farms and stuff if you have local consumption. Even when you're talking about, like, tenements and stuff. If you have, who don't grow their own food like the, the houses do. If you have uh, farms and stuff or ranches with local consumption turned on, they'll go over and they'll get their own food so they won't starve. But if you build a grocery, it services all the homes in the vicinity around it. Uh, like, we'll put it here so it'll get these guys and then any new areas we build out here. Um, and it... 
the f Teamsters take food to the grocery, and then the people only have to go to the grocery to get their food. Uh, and it distributes the food more easily and makes the people have more variety because it, they'll, it'll get food from places that are farther away that the people wouldn't normally walk to on their own. And so it increases the food happiness of the people around. And in this case, it will also give us some, some more revolutionary support. How are we doing with uh, homelessness is down to 10 again, but these may not all be full yet. No, they're not quite full yet. This will provide some more jobs too. What do I need to build a cigar factory? Some real luxury goods. Ah, World Wars. Okay, so we're, we're going to be stuck just exporting raw tobacco uh, for the colonial era, which is fine. That'll still make us a good amount of money. Here's our dynasty members. You can see they have a, a manager effect and a global effect. Uh, the global effect is just, I believe, something that's always on. And the manager effect is what they do um, when they're actually managing the building. So this guy's global effect was he speeds up construction, and his manager effect was increases effectiveness by five, which we saw when I made him the manager of the construction office. Thanks to your efforts, the revolutionary movement is growing stronger. Okay, so they're happy because they built the grocery. So either we can get some more citizens, uh, we can open new trade routes with smugglers, or we can get money for our Swiss bank account. Uh, we're going to get the revolutionaries because they're educated. And uh, currently, we don't have very many educated people. We don't have a school or anything, so we're stuck with what we got. Oh, these are mines. Okay, excellent. So there are mines around. I should research that when I get the chance. That's a bauxite deposit. Bauxite is a raw material. I should go, I should send an exploring team out when I get a chance to see what some of these other ones are. Because um, if I have gold or iron or coal, I can do good things, you know, worthwhile things with that. That if I don't have those things, I'll have to import them in later eras. So hopefully I've got some. Just got 18 new people, which means we're going to need to build more houses yet. Keep filling in this little block right here. Here come the new immigrants. And this guy's really book, huh? <laughs> Those are the Teamsters, I think. How's our pig farm doing? 81. I think that some of these also, uh, as I build more buildings around them, become less efficient. Uh, I may eventually, because this is going to end up being right in the middle of my city, I may eventually blow this up uh, once I have sufficient food in, coming in from other parts of my island. Speed up time here a little bit. Um, so I can build other more you know, civic buildings that need to be near all the center in around here. Great news. While searching through the crates of colony supplies, we found a sickle. Now we have something that goes perfectly with our hammers. This will boost production sky high. I can almost see the glorious future. Okay, so we've up unlocked plantation upgrades. So what do we got? Uh, for 2000, we can increase the job quality and wealth of people working on the banana farm, which is probably worth doing, but not yet, because we don't have that much surplus money. Tobacco increases effectiveness by 100, but the soil quality degrades over time. I don't, we want to keep our tobacco plant going for as long as possible, so I think we'll avoid doing that right now. Much more shacks popping up, because we uh, got a bunch of immigrants don't have enough houses. Uh, they're going to want entertainment too, but I kind of want to focus on doing some more stuff that'll get me money. We've still got a lot of space here for more tobacco, but it's also good to have more than one industry. There's cotton luck. Ooh, I can make co do cotton too. I think I'll do cotton. I haven't done cotton in any of my other games. We may want to eventually mine this bauxite too, so what I think I'll do is I'll extend this road out there. 
I'm not going to build a mine there yet, but I just want to get the road laid out so I can build this cotton plantation and know, you know, where it's going to be and everything. We'll do that. His Royal Majesty has instructed me to present you with Okay, this, this is the same of commendation as before and achievements in the name of the Empire. We're getting this because we completed the banana export. Um, so I'm gonna take the mandate extension at this point, because I was getting down to close to Someone just two years. My manuscript and published it under a pseudonym. It was an autobiographical story about two men on a mountain who want to form deep male bonds. They even stole the surrealistic chapter where fairies prance under a rainbow. The circumstances behind the theft are very queer. <laughs> okay, ranch upgrades have been unlocked. And we need to pick more research. Uh, now that I know these are mines, I'm going to research mines. Uh, and then we'll also research military. And then foremen. We don't need lumber mills right now. I'm not planning on doing much lumbering, lumber milling. But uh, we will want to get a military going, because there's a chance we'll be attacked by pirates or rebels, or we may have to fight for our independence from the crown, depending on how it goes, so we need to get some military stuff going. Got another quest here. My good fellow, I have it from a very reliable source that there be gold in them there hills, boy. I suggest you send some men to find it. Okay, so apparently there's a gold mine around here somewhere, and he wants me to explore. Now, now I know these are all mines. Jolly good, old chap. You've given His Majesty's subjects food, so now you should make them pay for it. Um, hmm. Issue both. Uh, I'll go with issue no free lunch, which is an edict that makes tropicans have to pay for their food. This will make the crown happy, but the revolutionaries a little not happy. And it will make my people a little bit less happy because they'll actually have to pay for their food instead of just eating for free. But uh, it should give me some extra money as well, so that may be useful at this point. And since the crown wanted me to do it, it's probably Our worth doing. Team, that is to say me, discovered the shovel 40 times. If I find out who put it there, I will kill him. Anyway, I gave it to the miners so they can put it somewhere safe. Like, underground. Okay, we got mines. Uh, how are we doing with employment? Would it make sense for me to build this mine right now? I still need to do some other stuff. Only have five homeless people now. That's good. Six unemployed people. Okay, I think rather than starting that mine, I'm going to build some entertainment. The only entertainment we have available in the Colonial Era, pretty much, is the tavern or the opera house, which is for rich people. But we don't have that many rich people, so we're going to start with the tavern. And uh, a tavern is more effective in more beautiful areas. So we're going to stick it over here, right by the sea. Hopefully it's still close enough for these houses to get the benefit from it. While His Majesty finds your island's backwardness most amusing, he is now worried that it will hinder his great plan. So they want me to research the sickle. I've already done, so it auto-completes as soon as I accept it. Um, my mandate's looking good, so I'm going to take the, take the money this time. Because I can put it to good use. growing cotton now so eventually we can turn that into textiles but I think that's also world wars yeah so for the moment it looks looking like we're gonna be farm based but as we explore which now I can do so explore uh, let's get we can get both of these at once if I go here so these little soldiers are gonna march off there they are from my palace they're going to travel over to this mark, and they're going to reveal everything on the path through here, and then when they get there, they're going to reveal a large area. So we should hopefully be able to get both of these, and maybe one of them will be the gold deposit that he's talking about. But this is here, and I'm tempted to just start working it, just because it'll give us some money, and it'll employ some people. And mines are cheap. 2400 so, yeah. Come on. Oh, that counts as unexplored? I guess it just overlaps the tiniest little bit. Oh well, so much for that. I don't think that they got close enough to... Yeah, they didn't. Oh well. Great news! We found out how to use the muskets the Crown sent us. Apparently, all you have to do is pull the trigger. 
Our research was seriously hindered until we discovered you should not look into the barrel when pulling the trigger. <laughs> we lost a lot of good men that way. Very nice pendle tow. So now we can build forts, which we will want to do eventually. We're also making a decent amount of money now, relatively speaking. Our tavern is up and running. It is beautiful enough that there is some increase in effectiveness. His Majesty personally inspected several reports from your colony and discovered a major oversight in your design. Okay, so he wants me to upgrade two of my... Whoa, okay. Now we're, we're up. We're exporting a good amount of stuff. So we can start uh, really improving the situation of our people. Uh, let's get some more houses out there because these people are... Stick these ones over here. There are more shacks showing up again, so we've got homeless people. Uh, then we will upgrade two plantations. So what can the cotton one be? Mechanization? Huh. Kind of surprised I can actually do that now, but I'll do it. So that'll increase the effectiveness there. And then this was the other one that was definitely good to do. Increases job quality and wealth. There's really no downside to that. has instructed me to present you with this Letter of commendation. Uh, take it to our Swiss bank account. Okay, so what did we reveal over here? An iron mine and a uranium deposit. Whew. It's not going to do as much good now, but in the Cold War era, that'll be quite useful. All right, let's send them out to explore over here then. Three other members of the research. Oh, that was a new technology, and I didn't pay close enough attention to see what it actually was. All right, you go there. That was Foreman, which unlocks manager skills for production buildings. All right, uh, let's do Constitution. That'll help us declare independence. Uh, uh, paper, that, which unlocks more edicts. And then we'll just do that for completion's sake. We won't be able to go any further up the tree until... Uh, until we get the... Um, get to the next era. Uh, let's see. Still looking to find that gold deposit. Alright, build some more houses. The shacks are gone. Well, mostly. There's still some in here. Uh, we've got a lot of money, man. Okay. Let's build some more houses. Hopefully that tavern is doing its job. What are the people unhappy about? Their happiness is not going up as much as I would have thought. Still entertainment is not very good. And we've got a bunch of unemployed people now. Okay, well, that's... His Majesty's fruit care plan has hit a minor setback. It doesn't seem to work. The crown is determined to throw as much fruit at it as necessary to make it work. Okay. So, we can export 10,000 fruits, so we've got bananas going, so it'll be that. If we sell them for less than they're worth, the crown will be happy with us and give us 12 months mandate. Uh, if we just do it flat out, we get 6 months. If we increase the price by 20%, we'll get the extra money and no mandate extension, but increase revolutionary support. I think we'll do that. Because I like money, and we've got three years left on our mandate. So we're in decent shape. Still no gold mine. There's one over there. There's one over here. Since I've got the money to throw around, let's have him go look at this one. That's iron. That's iron. I'm not sure which of these it makes sense to expand to. I guess we won't worry about it right now until we actually need that stuff. Alright. Stick another house there. There's still some shacks in the middle. but uh, And we have unemployed people, so we need to do something to get them working. Let's see if we can build a wharf. Do we have fish? Yeah, we do. Okay, so... Stick a wharf over here. That will employ some people and give us more food variety. 
which also helps make them happy. Yeah, that cotton and tobacco is really earning us a good bit of profit. So we're in good shape as far as money goes. That's the auto save. Searching everything that's good. Can't upgrade that yet. Yeah, we're not hurting for money. <laughs> Using this game gets in your head. Uh, our entertainment's still low. We've got money, so let's build an opera house which caters to wealthy citizens. We'll put it up here next to our palace. Only got seven homeless people. Still a bunch of unemployed people. The more buildings we build, should start to take care of that. We, the leaders of the Tropican nation, in our oh, we invented constitution. Work, Good. The will of the Tropican people to follow and obey the laws of the state and maintain the traditional, universal Tropican values of liberty, peace, love understanding siesta and hidden swiss bank accounts to hereby sign the first legitimate constitution of tropical so there was gold in those ah, found it. jolly good old chap i believe it's only fair that i get a piece of the pie having supplied the information and all that yeah let's give him 10 percent of the price of gold so we need the mandate extension. We were getting down close to two years again. So there's the gold deposit. That is really far away. I think what I'll eventually do when I decide to work the gold, which I'm not going to do yet, is... Ooh, there's oil, too. That won't come in handy for a while, but eventually it will. But I think what I'll eventually do is um, build another dock over here and start like a whole separate community over there to deal with the gold and whatever else might be over here. A river. Uh, maybe it's just the fog from this angle. It looks weird. All right, our people are getting happier. The opera house is in now. Law. I kind of like that. <laughs> so we still need to make our people happier, though. We need to get to fifty percent in order to proclaim the revolution. Uh, I guess we could build another plantation. I think our people are unhappy still because we've still got unemployment. Yeah, less, but still, and still some homelessness. Food is good. Entertainment is still so-so. All right, let's build a, another plantation or maybe another ranch to get some more food variety. Cattle. Yeah, we can put cattle over here and they'll be good. And they can also, uh, that one of their upgrades is um, manure fertilization, which increases the productivity of all other farms and ranches around them. So that will be pretty handy to have. In fact, let's connect this by a row too. And then. Um, so that'll do that. Then what else did I want to do? I'm going to focus on being a mostly farming civilization, I think, at this point. And so far that's working out pretty well for us. Let's also start a corn plantation. Because so that'll come in handy later as well. Corn. We can do corn over here. Um... Uh, Later in modern times, you can use corn to uh, have factory farms, which you input corn into, and they output meat or um, chicken eggs or whatever, because they're like big, you know, inhumane but efficient meat farms. The quest. Tropico itself has given us a way to gain our independence. I am talking about gold. They want me Mother to export Earth gold already. Sacrifice her precious gifts for our freedom. I'm going to accept that. We've got a lot of money. 
at this point. So I may actually just do that. Uh, just start building a new gold exporting area over there. Let me explore all the way over to the coast here. But in the meantime, we'll extend our road out from here. Right down to there. And then over here, we'll put it up to the gold mine. Um, and we're going to want our own whole little ecosystem over here, basically. So we'll build a Teamster's office, because otherwise, in order to take this gold to the dock, they're going to be coming from way over here, and that's going to take forever. So we'll build our own Teamster's office, and then we'll build our own housing over here as well for the workers who are going to work there. We can just put that, I guess, out here. We'll just put two for now. That ought to be plenty to get us started with. And then we'll build the mine itself. And once they've explored over here, I'll build another dock over here. So rather than hauling it all the way over here to export it, they can do it from right here. Might as well make this bauxite mine now as well. That'll just be a little extra money and it'll employ some more people. Now that I have that explored. It's going to take my construction guys a little bit to catch up to all that. Alright, the new Teamster's office is done. Let's increase the budget on the Teamster's offices too, since we've got the money to do it. Might as well keep them happy since they're kind of important to my export-based economy. Where are my explorers? There they are. So slow. Get over there. Alright, the houses are done. Was living. President, after suffering a thousand paper cuts, we have invented paper. It has print on it where there will be a summary of important affairs, interviews with important tropicans, and a page with political editorials. This will give a voice to every tropican. Also, going to the little Presidente's room will be much more comfortable from now on. <laughs> so we've invented newspaper that will give our people liberty, which is another thing that makes them happy. We're up to 40%. We're not doing too bad. I was going to build another tavern, wasn't I? Problem is that all these areas are very unbeautiful, which means the effectiveness will be reduced. Um, let's put it over here. Then we can put some little gardens around it, which will increase the beauty. We can do that over here, too. Just put one on this side of it. That will auto increase the beauty. Uh oh. Has come to steal your treasures. Well, the problem with that is that I actually haven't built any troops yet. Oh god, there's a lot of them too. Ah, this was going so well. Can I actually build these in the middle of a raid? I'm not sure it'll let me. No, see, it's just going to sit at 99% because it won't let me finish it while I'm under attack. Well, let's see what happens. I'm not actually sure what these pirates are going to do. They're going to go attack this plantation. I have no troops to stop them. Well, other than this one squad who is busy exploring. And now they're coming back to fight. But uh, there's only one of them. And there's three squads of these pirates. Lesson for next time. Build some goddamn military. Alright, we can rebuild that. Oh, did they just scatter after that? Oh, uh, they plundered $8,000 from our treasury and blew up one of our plantations. Okay, could have been worse, could have been worse. I will now build some military so that if they come back, we can deal with it. There's another gold deposit? Oh crap. It's even closer than this one. Ah, this works out just as well though, because I'm going to build this other 
mine over there. Speaking of which, I need to send these guys out to explore again because they got distracted by those dudes coming in and, uh, oh god, my mandate's almost running out too. exporting this fruit and once I do that I ought to be able to uh, that ought to give me an extension I'm at 30 minutes but I'm not going to end the video yet because if I uh, <laughs> if I fail to finish this in seven months I think it may be the end of the game anyway so we'll see what happens actually more people working over here than, than we built houses for. Build a couple more. His most gracious oh, good. has dispatched your replacement, but he somehow managed to get himself kidnapped by vicious pirates along the way. I had nothing to do with it. Nothing they can prove, at least. So they gave me one free mandate extension because I was about to run out. So now I'm back up to a year and five months. So, I will end this episode here. Uh, so, tune in next time, and we'll uh, hopefully get out of the Colonial Lara.